All right, Sam, you mentioned you think it feels like fall today. I think it's kind <laughs> of starting to cool down a little bit. I don't know if I'd go full fall yet. However, right. we are in full fall ball. Jackson's got a baseball game tonight, and I'm really excited. Oh, my gosh. Is that his first game? Ah! Yes, first baseball game of the How fall exciting. ball season. Oh my gosh, he's going to love it. <laughs> Very excited. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. And along with T-ball as well, Haley, in the ball season here, when it comes to soccer, even towards football, we're still going to be noticing very fall-like conditions through the course of the weekend. In fact, uh, this evening, I'll be getting to it a little bit later on, IU is going to be taking on Indiana State in Bloomington this evening at 7 p.m. Here's what we have underway right now on our current radar. There's not much to be speaking of, but I want to focus in on some of our far eastern counties right now. We have been watching some light rain trying to persist over Taylorsville. A couple of passing sprinkles will generally be in the outlook for the rest of the day today. I would go ahead and just say it's not going to be a day ruiner. So if you do have some afternoon and Friday evening plans in store, that's not going to be looking to be a washout, which is good news. We're watching a little bit of a cell right over the Washington County area here in far eastern Kentucky. Here's our outlook. Gloomy, cool air ahead, of course. We're going to be in the 80s over the weekend, but it will be below normal for this time of the year. We're also watching, of course, a quiet beginning of next week. I do think by Monday we'll be back into the middle 80s, which will be kind of a hint that summer is just still persisting here for the area. Right now we're sitting at 77 and some areas are still staying under the clouds. So that's why we are noticing only a couple of ticks on that thermometer above 70 degrees. Currently Fort Knox at 71, Bardstown 72 and Jasper also sitting comfortably in the low to middle 70s. This afternoon, I do think we're going to rise to 78 in Louisville. The reason why we're going to be hovering below normal. Well, of course, it's due to the amount of gloominess that is out. Side. Uh, notice to our sunset getting very close to 8 p.m. 802 this evening and by Sunday our sunset's going to be before 8 p.m. So just another hint that we only have about two weeks left of the summer season. Here's what's going on. Uh, the rest of future cast, we cannot rule out another passing sprinkle or passing light rain shower. Again, it really won't be too big of a deal through the course of the day today. 80 degrees is what this model is showing Louisville getting to, but I do think we will be hovering at 78 over er, during the afternoon today. Notice into tonight a lack of clouds early, but by the time we get into about 7 to 8 p.m., we're going to be turning mostly cloudy to partly cloudy again tomorrow to introduce our Saturday. And once again, there might be a passing shower mixing into the picture. You get the gist of it, though. Basically a copy and paste tomorrow as to today's weather, and we're going to rise to 80 degrees on your Saturday. Uh, as we march on into Sunday, I do think Sunday will be a lot more filled with sun than what we will be in, uh, noticing here tomorrow afternoon, and I do think we're going to rise to about 83. We have a lot of weekend events going on around town. Of course, UK and Western Kentucky both have home football games on Saturday. We have the Louisville Bass Baseball this evening and tomorrow as well, and of course, the Gaslight, or the Gaslight Festival is going to, going to continue to go on here. Here, uh, for our friends in J-Town as well. One area of the country, though, that we are focusing in on, of course, is Hurricane Lee across the Caribbean Sea. It's looking to be going just north of the Caribbean here, and there's going to be some pretty nasty riptides anywhere for rip currents, that is, from the San Juan, Puerto Rico area and the Lesser Antilles. So right now, this hurricane is veering away from all the islands uh, off to our south and east, but we're continuing to watch it very closely. It's a strong Category 4 hurricane right now, and it's going to be making a beeline well into the open waters of the ocean just north of a lot of these islands. Uh, so we're going to be watching Lee very closely. Luckily, our forecast models right now are hinting at getting away from the United States, but we're going to be watching that. Of course, that'll be the main focus this weekend and all of next week as to where Lee is exactly going to be tracking. Look at that cool down next week, 84 Tuesday, a chance for some storms, and then we'll be back into the 70s at best into next week, Haley.